Alright, this is the AIs are stealing our voices. I would think so. They are machines after all. They can mimic whatever they like. Um, that's why I change my voice sometimes. Uh, and I try to keep my face off the uh, YouTube. Because, like, AI can make a whole video about you and your face without your consent. I, th I find that a little scary, though, that somebody could just, like, have your face on and be, like, a deep fake, and it's, like, not a big deal. It may be a big deal now that it's becoming more mainstream on YouTube, which I think is good. It kind of stops the deep fakes, so then it's not like you said this or you're endorsing something that's like they never asked you about. Like they didn't ask you to use your likeness for these things. Uh, they should at least ask to use your likeness. We have the Three of Wands seeking direction and partnership. We have King of Pentacles. We have Responsibility, Head of the Family. We have Democracy. We have the Nine of Cups with emotional satisfaction wrapped up in each other. And we have the Knight of Pentacles with caution, traditional relationship. We have the King of Wands with creation being swept off your feet. We have Conversational Judge with final verdict being put through a test. And we have judgment with evaluation and the right choice. All right, we have I am service, I am divine love. Move in the way of love that asked me to move to. Okay, we have live in faith of yourself. And the angels will help you with your convictions. Okay, and then we have giving and receiving information and the highest form of energy from the universe is merciful. Okay, and we have, I am the one with my soul and my soul alone proves my legacy towards my love and what I love. Which is a big, big deal, I think. I am the eternal flame, the beacon of the day, and I am the light that grows brighter. Okay. And then we have a housewarming. We have capital. We have a greyhound. We have uh, a scene. We have an octopus. We have... A heartfelt comment, hydrangea, a rogue. Okay, we have capital here too. Okay, we have a gentleman whose fortune is being told. We have skeptical. We have a ring. We have an artichoke. We have armor. We have lily of the valley. We have birds, we have polar bears, we have clouds, and we have a saucepan bringing it to a boiling point. So, somebody is wondering about how they could use AI. Now, with AI, it can mimic your voice, it can mimic your voice patterns, it can also mimic your pauses, your, you know breaths, you're inhaling, um, maybe you might have a breathing problem like I do. After Corona, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm trying to breathe through like a small windpipe, it's weird. But, um, yeah, like, with the AI, it can mimic all that, and that's a problem for most people, um, because it's, it's almost like, um, a you know, a specter taking, like, your skin, you know, 
<laughs> if you've ever seen that movie, I don't remember what it was, like, what was it, Skin Takers or something? I don't know. Flesh Eaters, something. Uh, it's such a weird movie. Um, but yeah, there's these aliens that literally come to Earth dressed as, like, famous politicians. And then they're, like, doing what normal humans would do. But they're doing it in a way that's, like, it's almost an insult, you know? So, like, people start, like, watching these things. They're kind of a little skeptical about them and stuff. And they look human, but they're not. And I feel like there's a lot of things going on in on Earth that would kind of be the same type of thing because, like, movies imitate real-life situations and stuff like that sometimes. So, this movie goes on and on to the point where these beings these little aliens, keep changing into people and taking on mannerisms, speech, and all this stuff. And it gets to the point where it's almost like they've become these people. It, I, I think it's like, well, the incubus is the male. The succubus is a female. So these things they don't really have faces you know things like that so they're just doing that whatever I forget how the movie ends but it's like really like it's creepy as fuck but it's almost like these little aliens become everybody on earth in like a couple days and it's like the weirdest thing and they can mimic them like perfectly or whatever but it's like to the point where it's almost like a insult to these people and it's an insult to like, their mannerisms, who they are as people, and stuff like that. So it becomes, like, a nationwide scare tactic to try to get these things off the planet or whatever. So it's, like, they have to call it in. So it's almost like Independence Day, but it's with these alien things. They need to remake that movie that's funny as hell. But anyway, <laughs> can you imagine, like, having AIs do that, though? Or they could just do that through, like, a computer system, make you do a lot of things that you didn't do. Like, everybody would have to research everything you did last night. <laughs> like, what did you do last night? Like, you getting out blackout drunk, you'd be sober as a priest on Sunday if somebody questioned you about your whereabouts. And there was this deep fake walking around being you, you know. Because that would scare me, you know. Like, if they st stole money from, like, a bank or something. Or, like... They were doing, like, international crime. I'd be like, I was at home reading. Like, what are you talking about? Do you have anybody that can vouch for you? I'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? I was reading a book at home. Oh, my God. And that's why you have cameras everywhere. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. But even cameras can be altered, and that's the scary part about everything, is that they can be altered, hacked, whatever. Unless you have, like, some type of, um like validation from the company that they're not going to be messed with that they're constantly going to be on like my cameras like even during a power outage my cameras stay on uh, because of my security system I got so paranoid after watching like <laughs> The Purge I watched that around my birthday and stuff and I was just like I need to get a security system <laughs> there's no way I can't like do that that's that's crazy and the way like life was going around the time i saw the purge movies it was just like everything was falling apart from what it was so the purge could have happened you know it was that type of weirdness but yeah i'm glad i got these cameras my ptsd can take the day off um anyway hopefully this helps you with something <laughs> makes you a little paranoid but yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. You need to have some type of defining factor about yourself that only you would know about, like a scar somewhere that would be an intimate place or like a tattoo that says something that's a little raunchy that I don't think an AI would be able to duplicate, you know? Um, but something that <laughs> something that's like entirely your personality or something that's not easily seen by like the camera 
so that you can easily figure that one out. Or like a freckle or something. Oh, excuse me. It's been a long day. Anyway. Hopefully this doesn't make you too paranoid. You think about like what you want as your deciding factor to prove that it wasn't you. Uh, and, um, you know, that type of thing. It's just as a, you know, end game type thing. With me, I think I have enough def defying features that I don't think any AI would be able to copy, so I'm not really worried. Anything said or done, you know, it's kind of the same thing. I just had to prove it wasn't you. You need an alibi, you need some mark on yourself. That was either from when you were a kid, or defying marks, like a tattoo, or something that's kind of has a weird backstory, but nobody would know about it because you keep it secret. It's like a shame. Scratch, bite, or mark on yourself, you know? You always need that one thing. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it has to be true. Uh, anyway, I'll see you later. Take care of yourselves, take care of everyone. And remember, <laughs> try to be an original. It's hard to do for some people, but be original because there's like a doppelganger walking around. You want to make sure that people know who you are and know who the doppelganger is so that people don't get confused. Because you don't want to save the wrong one. Big, big thing. Anyway, I'll see you later. Alright.